Hey y'all, this be your boy Scotty, and I just came in to do um a quick video, right quick, just to address something. Um, don't think I forgot about the haves and have nots because I haven't. I'm trying to watch the shit again so I can make some notes. I'm gonna do the video tomorrow before I go to work, so it'll be um posted like right after I leave for work or whatever. Um, I'm watching Big Brother right now, too, so I can get a feel on the cast. You know, um, I do, when I was doing Big Brother, I was doing reviews every week, every eviction. So, these motherfuckers got a whole week to determine whether I'm going to do a review or not. Y'all see these tan lines? Can't get jiggy with this shit at all. But, um, let me just get into this video right quick. It's, it's only going to be for a few minutes. I'm just going to dress it and move on. Just last week, I was attacked for making a video that I planned on making like a month ago. Nay's way just so happened to beat me to it. We put out our videos at the same time. James Colwell put out his. Sean Bradley put out, put out his. And it ended up being a discussion. Gay men versus black women. The, the Ghetto View got one out now. Lady Nika got one out now. Squeaky Jones got one out now. All the girls I actually like, you know, everybody I love as YouTubers got videos out on that particular subject. So it sparked a conversation. I was attacked because I was accused of attacking Nags Way, which I wasn't, which she's already addressed that I haven't. I was called all sorts of names. I addressed that and I moved on. However, I've been attacked lately. Because I wasn't at the main event by Justin and um, Adrian Expressions. Now, the people that are so mad, like, were y'all there? So why y'all mad at me for not being there? It's not like it wasn't a known fact that I wouldn't be there. Me and Justin had already talked like a month or two before the event. He came to my job when he was down here and he hung out with me at my job. When I was running that motherfucker by myself, he was hanging out with me at my job that whole morning and we discussed it. And I said it was a possibility that I wouldn't be able to make it. A, because I already had a trip planned a week before that. Two, the main event was on June 11th. Meaning it was my brother's birthday and everybody knows I have to take care of my brother and I was going to be here for his birthday And three there was a possibility that I wasn't gonna be able to get off any goddamn way Because I had just took five days off for my damn trip to the Gulf Coast So why are people so upset because I took my ass to Chicago last week to visit my family? Or I went to a funeral a few times two funerals well not even two one funeral and they think that I'm an undercover hater and I'm fake all because I didn't go to the main event, which Justin knew I wasn't going to be able to make it. The Chicago, I don't even ex owe anyone no explanation about what I do with my motherfucking money. The person that threw the event wasn't mad with me. We talked and text that whole motherfucking weekend. Not to mention, if I was such an undercover hater, I never would have promoted the motherfucking event at all. I promoted that event several times on my channel. On several videos. And got attacked for doing that. Got attacked for promoting the main event. Because they felt like I was taking sides, taking just side in this whole blackout drama when I was promoting both events. So, if anybody wants to know if I'm going to the blackout, I ain't going to that either. So, am I going to get a tech for that too? Why do y'all want me to be in shit? That's what I'm not understanding. I mean, you go in on me. You talk about my tattoo and say how ugly it is. You talk about my teeth. You talk about I'm country. I come from a damn swamp. You so mad because I wasn't at the main event. But were you there, bitch? I'm trying to figure out why all these mad ass people that's accusing me of being fake and phony and being an undercover hater. Were y'all even there? So why the fuck y'all so worried about whether I was there or not? I had my reasonings for not being there. And the person that threw the event already knew that. Not to mention I was already promoting his event. Like, no other YouTubers were promoting the shit but me. So how the fuck am I gonna be a motherfucking 
undercover hater. I'm one of the few YouTubers that really support Justin is really down for him. So again, how am I a motherfucking undercover hater? Because if I was a hater, I wouldn't have promoted a damn thing. I didn't even go to the event and still promoted it. I knew I wasn't going to be able to go to the event and I still promoted it. So again, what the fuck are y'all talking about and why am I being attacked? It's really none of your business and I don't owe nobody no motherfucking explanation. Me and Justin are good. We've been talking about this shit. We was talking about the day he came to my job. He said, it's okay if you're not able to come. He said it was okay that I wasn't able to come. So why it's not okay with y'all? I'm trying to figure that out. Why are y'all so mad? I promoted the event. I did my part. Whether I was there or not, I promoted the event and I supported it. So, don't worry about why I went to Chicago. Because if you really want to know why I was able to go to Chicago, that was never in the plan for me to go to Chicago. The weekend of the main event, I was asked by my cousin to go to the mother to go to Chicago with her. Because she had an extra room. And she said, if you want to come, come. So I jumped at the idea. I'm a 27-year-old grown-ass man. I think I can make whatever decision I want to make about where the fuck I go. So with that being said, if you want to know the real, that's why I was in Chicago. A spur of the moment thing. Not that I owe anybody an explanation. So why am I being attacked again for not coming to the main event when I'm the main one who be supporting Justin and Adrian when everybody else really don't be wanting to, you know what I'm saying, really don't want to show them no motherfucking love. You know what I mean? I'm the main one that do it. So why am I being attacked again? Okay. Because I'm not a hater. I've been supportive of both Justin and Adrian from the very beginning. They've both been supportive of me. So I don't know why people want to cause friction between the three of us. I don't understand why. I really don't. We don't have any problems. And if we had any, y'all wouldn't know shit about them. Because we don't put our shit on the social media. We actually love and care for each other. Got each other numbers and we talk. So, no. So, I'm just going to address that. I'm going to leave it alone. Leave your comments below. All I got to say is, if you don't, if you don't like me, then don't watch me. That's all I got to say. Stop trying to create shit that's not even there. Get the fuck out of here. I see y'all later. Let me go watch the abs and the hair now to get ready for my review and worry about my own channel and getting my shit back on track like I've been trying to do for the last month. And I'm out of here, y'all.